Hey, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on when and where you're watching. Welcome to the Breakneck Bricks channel. I'm Mr. Breakneck, and today uh, looks like the Lego City of Brixton construction workers are just about finished cleaning up this mess here. So today, we're going to be taking a look at uh, shipping containers. All right, so there's uh, lots of different sizes of Lego City uh, shipping containers. Uh, the most common size is something kind of like this. Let's uh, do that for you there. So about this size, that's about the common size. This is one I just sort of threw together. Uh, I had a container yard in my uh, city of Brixton for a little while. Uh, this is a bit of a smaller style one. You see these in some smaller style Lego City sets. I didn't bother putting any stickers on it. It's just one I kind of threw together as well. Then there's uh, these corrugated style ones here. All pretty much the same design. That up there is from an old, uh, geez, uh, Lego, oh my gosh, Agents? I, I don't even remember. I can't remember. Right, so, and then uh, we've got these, this custom one here that I sort of pieced together. This did look a little different last time I had it out, but uh, I just redid it. So there's some custom doors on here with the locks, just like a semi-tractor trailer would have. You can open it up there, open inside, locks up there. So the idea behind these is that you can put them onto a flatbed truck or a cargo train or a giant lego city uh cargo ship if you had one of those but uh for me my uh inspiration here was i wanted to have a nice uh long lego city tractor trailer kind of like the lego city lego truck and here it is, the Lego City cargo truck. So as you can see, it's pretty much the same size. Well, it is the same size as two of these regular style Lego City shipping containers. It's the exact same length. But if you decide to make a custom one, like I did, with some doors on it that open, uh, it's one stud longer here so what i did was i made a custom lego city flatbed trailer I'll just put that down there i made it one stud longer than the usual ones and so it fits on there and not only does that container fit on there Oops, of course, now I've pulled it apart on camera. But two of the smaller ones will also fit on there, even if they have doors, which is great for me. But then in uh, typical breakneck uh, bricks style, I wasn't completely happy with it. It's a little small, so I decided I would uh, up the game a bit and make a Lego City style one that was uh, twice as long so I could fit pretty much anything I wanted on there within reason you know I could haul anything I wanted preferably a couple of shipping containers let me just get the tie down chains off of there real quick so you can hold two standard sized Lego City shipping containers. Um, and if they have doors on them, you can do that as well. Of course, it's not going to be easy in front of the camera. There we go. They're both on there now. You get a good look at that. So I did it basically the same style. I put a Technic pin under there to look like the frame. If you can see the holes under there. The uh, stanchions uh, fold up so you can connect it to a trailer, or a truck, I should say. And, uh, yeah, that was looking pretty good. I was pretty happy with that. 
But then I figured, okay, well, what else does a, a big cargo depot need? Well, we need some more uh, something to ship stuff on. So I built a few Lego pallets to fit onto my truck. And uh, there's a couple of shipping, little smaller shipping containers. Let me just zoom out so you can get a better view of those. So I built some pallets. Some have studs on them. Some do not. Some are completely tiled. You know, it's nice that they, they look like this. But uh, when they have studs on them, you can actually stick, you know, little crates full of stuff on them. Each one of these has stuff. Oh, that's a shipment of coffee mugs there. What's in this one? Uh, looks like some binoculars, a uh, shipment of binoculars. Every one of those little crates has something in there. And, uh, yep, yeah, so those can all fit on there, just like that. So can some shipping containers, you know, so you can, you can uh, kind of vary it up a bit on that trailer. That's what I like about it. But then, so then after all that, I decided I needed a single flatbed trailer that would hold like one of the little style shipping containers, kind of like that. And uh, I thought that was pretty cool. There's some Lego City sets that have a, a smaller truck like that for the uh, uh, smaller shipping containers. So that was kind of cool. I thought, uh, why not? It's got the cargo logo on there. It's pretty much just a redo. I just redid the bed of it from uh, an older Lego cargo set. And then, uh, if you notice, this one's a little bit different here at the back than the standard ones. And that's because I also decided to build a little miniature skid steer that you, like you see on some of these uh, like home delivery style trucks that slide into the back there that sort of sit up. Oops, so, of course, that's not going to work out on camera either. Typical breakneck bricks fashion. That uh, you see carrying them around there like that. So uh, it's another little quick video on that. Just thought I'd show it all off. It's got the dual wheels in the front. The uh, the back wheel doesn't uh, spin like they do on the real thing, unfortunately. It's very delicate. It's uh, definitely uh, due for a redo. It does not... You can't carry anything with it is the problem. It's too... Uh, light at the back so anything more than uh, one of these little tiny boxes here like this you can carry one of those you might be able to get away with whoops carrying a uh, single pallet just barely but anything bigger than that like one of these uh, mid-sized shipping containers whoops there I go and uh, it kind of endos on you there even with the forks uh, uh, tilted in the back position you get a better idea it just it just doesn't want to stay on its on its wheels so slight design flaw there kind of quickly throwing together but uh, I do think when it's in the back of the truck uh, I do think it looks pretty good just sort of hanging there like you see them going down the road so of course that's not going to stay up now but uh, so that was that all right, so there's another, you know, pretty quick uh, breakneck brick style, quick and dirty video. Just wanted to show off my uh, little custom shipping containers there, my uh, flatbed trailers, all in preparation for uh, the big uh, Lego City of Brixton cargo depot reveal. That should be coming up soon. There's still a few little details left to do there. Still got a few parts left to clean up on the table and get it all organized so I can actually film this thing without any uh, uh, bad backgrounds or full, full focus on the uh, building itself. So hopefully uh, that will keep you all uh, held over for a bit. And uh, take care. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.